time, enough summers, like 12 years, can you imagine? Uh-huh. You know what I mean there? Kind of like sort of shaped me up to be everything I am right now. Now, you know. So I, when you say that, what were you doing there for 12 years? Just, I mean, I, I started, I, to be honest, when I first went to Ibiza, I was 17 years old. Like, I didn't know anything. Right. I mean, I, I kind of been promoting and um, partying and sort of doing this kind of production stuff in raves when I was like 15, 16 years old. And then I kind of got sick of the town I was in. I just thought, you know what, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm done with this. And then some one of my friends said, you know, Ibiza's a new place. So I just went, gone. And I landed there and I, I, I thought my new mission was like a, was was like a natural club when it wasn't you know privilege was the club and my new mission was the party but i to be honest I, the only reason i say that is just to highlight how much i didn't know and slowly over the 12 years i just learned, i learned pretty much everything i didn't exclude anything in the music industry i i just opened everything i could do and i learned as much as possible and to be honest um, you know now 12 years what 13 years later as an artist it kind of i can do whatever want to be honest I can, I can go to any angle any area and I pretty much have basic knowledge of everything okay so let's concentrate a little bit on what you're doing here you're here in the mix you're playing music for us we're going to take a break in our conversation right now and let's get back into the mix and then we'll find out more what's driving what's driving cryo man here but now he's in the mix on power tools cryo man is in his debut mix on power tools he is uh, here visiting from the UK, from Europe, I guess. No. Do you live here? In Los Angeles? Yes. No, I'm actually based in Miami right now. Okay. I was based in Ibiza before. And once, you know, sort of EDM started to blow up in the United States, I just relocated to Miami. Okay. Done deal. Wherever it's happening, first in Ibiza, now in America. Absolutely. Okay. So, you're a DJ and you've also made a song that we can't really... <laughs> say the name of the song on the radio it's crowd effer i'm sure you'll get the point but in the performance videos that i saw where you're spewing the fire and you have to go to cryoman.com to check out these unbelievable videos you're like this i don't know what to call you like this big gigantic robot that's how how tall are you on those legs 10 foot tall decked with 2400 watts of led i mean the funny thing, you know what the funny thing was? I was with Jeff Panzer last night shooting a music video with uh, with Lil Wayne and, and Paris Hilton. And he said to me, like straight off the bat, this guy has shot like 2,000 music videos. He said, I have seen everything you've done, but seeing you in the flesh right now is something completely different. Actually in person, I mean, you can see it online is one thing. And it's impressive. Yeah. But seeing it actually in person, it'll blow your mind. And to be honest, like I, I'm behind the mask the whole time, so I never see it. Right. You know oh, you I mean? don't see anything? No, never. Wow. So I'm the one, you know, I've never seen my show. She, she give you a little peephole there for you to look out because <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Something. I'm sure you've seen the videos because the crowd reaction to what you do is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I yeah, mean, we, it is mind boggling that it, it's very impressive. This figure out there spewing, you know, the smoke is coming out of two different sort of smoke guns. Is that what you have? Well, exactly. And, you know, the funny thing is you talk about that and um, actually a funny story was I was on tour with David Guetta and one night we were in Vancouver and my bags didn't arrive. And, and I said to him before he went on stage, I said, don't worry, man, you, you don't need me up there anyway. He said, it's not about that. He said, when you come up on stage with me, he says, I reach a certain point. But you take it to that next level. level yeah. That is what you do. You take it to where the DJ stops you continue and push it to the point where nobody else can touch you. And he said, you know, that's where we're at. So where can we read about your upcoming performances? Where can people see you do this in America? Well, I mean, the best way to find out all of our tour schedule is on uh, cryoman.com, K-R-Y-O-M-A-N.com. And you can find all of the tour schedule right there. Um, for now, we don't really have any, oh, hold on a second. When is this stuff? August. August. I mean, we're on tour with Akon right now. Coming up, we we're in rehearsals with Akon for a world tour with him right now. Wow! Which is huge for me. I love the guy. It's amazing. Um, and that's sort of a completely different genre of music that we work with. Um, you know, we, we cross over from rap. We go super commercial, but we also go very EDM as well. And that's sort of our roots and where we're at. Now, um, I can tell that from the mix that we're listening to right now, <laughs> dude. Um, so yeah, just trying to think of when our next hit is. There we go, Labor Day weekend in Las Vegas. 
at okay. Hayes Nightclub, uh, where we have a residency 35 days out of the year. We're there, and Hayes is the best place to find us. We're always there supporting like big acts, like you know, like Major Laser, like you know, I mean, we, we support all sorts of people out there. T Pain. So go to cryoman.com to see who's going to be performing with and get all the details right there. Exactly. Now let's get back into the mix with Cryoman here on Power Tools. <clears throat> Cryoman finishing up his mix here at Power Tools. An impressive, outstanding, mind boggling live show that you just have to go to cryoman.com to check out. It's like radio, unfortunately, at this point, doesn't really do you a great service because we can't show how phenomenally impressive it is. But you also, in addition to doing that DJ, so what you often speak of like you as a team and who else is in the team and what happened to the bunny? Oh God, the bunny got lost in Croatia. We were just out doing a Euro tour and, and bunny just, just got stolen. Unfortunately, it's kind of sad. You'll see that in the, the most recent movie that we just produced and bunny sort of went missing. But the one thing about the DJ set is like uh, the reason the reason, I love you. the reason the reason why the, um, I started doing the DJ set, which is a fundamental thing of like one of the reasons why we did it, was because Cryo Man comes on stage for seven or eight minutes at a time. It's purely impacted, very straight up, very aggressive, fast performance. But a lot of the audience are always wanting more. They want more. Yeah. So I figured out the fact is if I DJ, I can still give that energy to people. I can still be that person, but behind the decks and it works it's it's crazy but i can still be cryo man the character behind it but as a dj and if you watch my sets and watch what i do when i dj you'll feel that energy you know and then i duck duck down and go out the back change into cryo man jump out on stage boom 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 as the robot and then come back upstairs and keep dj and it's just like you know it's it's the same thing but just people get to be with me longer yeah. you know and that's the whole reason why i did it was because people were getting lots of complaints it was like, we want you on stage more, we want you on stage more. And it's just like, to be honest, if people have me as a person, they can relate to me more. You know, they love the character Cryo Man, but as a DJ, it makes us much more marketable, much more facilitated into the industry that's already constructed as we're doing it. Right. Cryo Man's amazing. We keep Cryo Man and we do the DJ set and everything else. And then we just push forward and retain the energy and the vibe that we're giving. Taking this whole thing, DJing, EDM, showcasing bunnies. theater and bunnies to a whole <laughs> new level you can check it out at crimeman.com thank you so much for being part of our show no way but thank you for thank having you me.